consider. One is when you design your website, you are designing for two very different creatures. The first are human beings. Real people are going to come to your website. They like pictures. They like graphics. They, they are interested in flash and, and, and video. And then there are search engines. And search engines don't really see pictures and video unless they are titled and tagged properly. Search engines see words. And all too often, I think that we get into our marketing speak and we forget that clients use very simple words to find us. Um, think about the very basic words someone is going to type into a search engine when they're looking for you. And the question is, does that word appear on your homepage? If it doesn't, you're not going to show up when someone does a search using that word or that term. And the other thing is on navigation, the biggest challenge is you don't always know how a human being is going to come to your site to look for information. So in addition to a very simple navigation, you need to think about multiple paths. Some, what is, how might someone look? Some people might go from here to here to here, but some people might do this, 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 and this. And you've got to have links and logical ways to bring people back easily to the starting point. Um, and if you're not sure, have someone sit down and watch over their shoulder how they surf your website. Where do they go? And ask them, why did you do that jump? I would never have thought about that. And it will give you a lot of insight that you can use to enhance, create simple redirects inside the site. What, what she said was great, especially with, uh, you, you have two types of audiences. One is a human being and the other one is a search engine. And, and with navigation, uh, it, it is very critical that when you are designing your website, that you get the average person who uses your product. Think like they do, not like you do. You know all the lingo, you've been to your website, you've been to all your competitors' website. You know exactly how to go from point A to point B and what the information is. Your audience, your potential customer, does not know that. You need to make your website, you are either making your website for yourself, in which case it's not going to work, it's not going to give you results, or you make it for your audience, and if you're going to make it for your audience, you've got to think like your audience. 